different from a severe thunderstorm. Meteorologists have established criteria that classify whether a thunderstorm is severe or not, which are typically stronger than your ordinary thunderstorm. A severe storm is one that has wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater, hail that is one inch or larger, or the potential for a tornado. When we forecast for severe weather, there are four main ingredients that we look for. Shear, lift, instability, and moisture. Now, wind shear describes the change in wind speed and direction the higher you go up into the atmosphere. These strong winds can tilt the storms, and this allows storms to maintain their strength longer and can help storms start to rotate. Now, instability refers to the amount of fuel that storms need to ingest. This is what we call convected available potential energy. Now, the higher the cape you have, the more energy or instability is available for the storms to become severe. Next, sufficient moisture is needed in the atmosphere to help clouds and rain form. Now, the dew point is one of the ways that we measure this moisture content. Since we are so close to the Gulf of Mexico, this provides a great source for moisture to be available for storms to develop and strengthen. Them. Lastly, storms need a lifting mechanism to be able to get started in the first place. For example, cold fronts or dry lines can force rising motion to spur storm development from colliding air masses. When all the ingredients come together, we forecast or locate the area where severe storms could possibly develop.